Hi, my name is Amanda. I am a coach and a trans channel. And what you're about to see is an excerpt from my most recent expansion experience. The expansion experience is a monthly virtual event where I trans channel a message for the group of, a, of people in attendance. Every single month, a different archangel, ascended master, god or goddess, or being of light comes forward to me and they say, I want to come forward this month and I want to share this message and it changes every single month. This month, Ellen of the Ways came forward. She is a Celtic goddess and she helps us connect back to our intuition and is the bridge between the human world and the natural world. And she really wanted to share some insight into what the world is going to look like over the next few years in terms of how many people are going to desire to start to tune into and develop a relationship with their intuition and how that's going to impact all of us on a global scale and how intuition is going to start to change and evolve over time and how channeling is going to change and evolve over time and how tuning into and and growing your intuition and becoming a clear channel is going to impact your life in a way that you wouldn't be if if you chose not to. It was a fascinating discussion. And then after that, she invited every single person in attendance forward to receive some one-on-one -on -one guidance and support from her in order to find out what specific intuitive gifts they've brought into this lifetime, how best to tune into them, and what is available for them on a grander scale if and when they do. It was such a beautiful experience. Ellen of the Ways in particular really blew me away with her energy. She comes forward very strong for me. I highly recommend um, inviting her forward into your life and formulating a relationship with her. If you would like to stay up to date on future expansion experiences, I tend to put tickets out for registration two weeks in advance and let everyone know who it's going to be that I'm channeling and what the topic for that month is going to be so you can get an idea if you want to be in attendance or not. So if you want to be added to a list to find out more about them and to be the, one of the first people to find out when tickets go on sale, head to my website, amandalaurenblau.com and under events, you'll see the expansion experience and just add your email in there and I'll put you onto my email list and you'll be the first to find out about all future expansion experiences. I hope you enjoy this message from Ellen of the Ways. I am so excited to be here with both of you today. We have a lot to get to actually, and I do believe that it will take up the majority of our time, if not all of it. And I am so excited that it is a small group today because the three of us have a lot in common that you might not have known prior to this conversation and that I'm really looking forward to illuminating for both of you. The reason why I wanted to come forward today at this time to speak on this topic is because it's relevant for you. Both of your paths are leading you in a specific direction that I am sure that it is not surprising to you that the conversation of intuition is at the forefront of your minds at this time. And the reason why I desired to be the one to bring forward guidance and support around the topic of psychic ability, intuition, and channeling is because the way that the world is evolving at this time lends itself to understanding how to connect with yourself in this way. Very soon, there's going to be a desire amongst many on this planet to do so. And the reason for this is because many of you will notice the dissonance inside of yourselves in terms of how you have been feeling and what you have been wanting in contrast. The world can no longer serve you as deeply as it once did. And what you're desiring is something more. And the only place that that is truly accessed is through you. 
And as you access it through you, it will become available around you and outside of you. And what you will be able to create as a byproduct in your life will be drastically different than you would have been able to build, make, or realize otherwise. Because without the connection to your sense of self and what lies beyond you, you will always feel limited. You will always feel limited by what you see and what you know. And it is only when you can see beyond the normality of what exists outside of you can you create something more than this. And this is what you have been seeking on a very fundamental level is a deeper sense of connection to you and a desire to create something that you do not have a frame of reference for. And when you are successful at doing this, you demonstrate to others what is truly possible for them that they did not know was available before. And very soon this will create a domino effect and every person on this planet will desire something more for themselves. And the only way to achieve that is by turning inside and asking the questions how and receiving the divine answers in return. And the reason why I desired to be the guide for you today is because I remember. I remember your desires in lifetimes past and the way that you worked together to create what you desired from the magic that you held inside of you. You have had many incarnations where you worked as a pair. Not always in the intuitive sense, but in the community sense and in the sense of family structure as well. You have played out many different dynamics over the course of your incarnations, always working together and always desiring more from one another and pushing each other to do better and realize more. And so here you are again, elevating one another. And I think that that is just beautiful. And I too hold a special place inside of your memories. For it is I that you used to call upon in times of distress. And it is I that guided you through your lifetimes of forging and creating from the plant life that you knew so well, all kinds of medicine and concoctions to help heal those around you because it is the magic of the forest that lingers inside of you to this day. And this is what I represent inside of you is the magic of the forest and the memories that you hold wielding them. My child, you entered into this lifetime with the desire to expand, to come inside here feeling limited with what you were capable of because those around you could not demonstrate more than what they felt capable of in return. And you witnessed them in struggle. And you knew that this would be a painful experience, both to stand by, not quite knowing how to help, and also feeling left out left out in the cold. Helpless and alone. 
And I understand the pain associated with this part of your journey, but it was something that you needed to endure so that you could understand that that is not all that's available to you. You could have the experience of it so that you could understand what it feels like. And then grow and evolve past that and witness the true breadth of your potential on the other side. Because my child, what's available to you goes way above and beyond what you have had a chance to see as of yet. You bring with you many gifts from lifetimes past. Some of which you have already had an opportunity to tap into and utilize here and there where you are feeling brave and others that remain hidden because you have not chosen to explore them as of yet. And so my first question for you, my child, is why? What do you fear about fully tapping into your full potential? and what may be created on the other side of it. And I encourage you to unmute at this time and join me in this conversation and exploration that I'm inviting you into now. 